Hello everyone, welcome back. So this is my to be read list for October of 2022. So these are all of the witchy books I'm planning on reading in the next month and I will be reviewing them over the month. And so of course it's subject to change in case I find one that like really piques my interest, but for the most part this is what I'm planning to read. I kind of picked out books that were more themed around like either like heavily witchcraft based because there are a couple that are just witchy in general and then mostly focusing on like the darker aspects of this time of the year so let's jump in. So to begin these are not in any specific order and the first book I do not have a copy of yet I am waiting to buy it but by the time it comes around it's at the end of the month anyways I will have a copy but I'll stick it somewhere over here. It is the Samhain Sabbat Essentials as I've mentioned I'm going through all of those books and so naturally I would not skip this one, so it will be coming up, but I currently do not have a copy of it yet. Now, on to the books that I do have. So, we are starting off with this one. This is Journey to the Dark Goddess, How to Return to Your Soul by Jane Meredith. So, this one was pretty popular a while ago. I don't know if it's still super popular, but I figure Journeying to the Dark Goddess would be kind of appropriate for this time of the year. I don't know if it goes into, like, a specific deity. I think it kind of mostly follows the idea of like Persephone, mostly, um, which is fine, but whatever. We'll read through it and see what we have to think. Then we can't have spooky season without at least one fun book. That is really a topic that comes up often when you say that you're a witch. Curses, Hexes, and Crossing. This is a magician's guide to execration magic? I'm probably mispronouncing words by S. Connolly. So this is a kind of smaller book, but I figured this would be very appropriate to read at this time of the year when everyone is looking into witchcraft things. Why not talk about this? And then, because I apparently hate myself, we're gonna reread a book that I read before and I hated it so much, but I want to try and do a little more of a concise reasoning why I don't love this book, because I have more standards now. Um, and maybe rereading it, I will not hate it as badly. We're gonna find out. So, I also had a puppy, um, kind of have fun with my corner, so it's a little banged up, but this is Basic Witches, How to Summon Success, Banish Drama, and Raise Hell with Your Coven by Jaya Saxena and Jess Zimmerman. I'm butchering author names here. The cover art is gorgeous. The book itself, like, if you flip through it, it's just, it's awesome. It looks great, in theory. Um, it's a trendy witchcraft book. I bought this at Kohl's when I bought it. And again, it was before I had my standards, where if I don't buy it from a publisher that's kind of well-versed in witchcraft, I'm always really hesitant. And uh, this was one of the reasons why. But I wanted to re-record the review for it, and I was like, you know what? I'm not going to go off my old notes. I'm going to reread it and really, really pinpoint why I don't love this and make it a little more concise. And then I will definitely have the extended discussion on Patreon. I don't know if I'm going to just quote it and talk about it or if I'm going to do more of the reading vlog style because sometimes that's just easier than just writing endlessly of my issues. But yeah, this one will have a lot of discussion. It's going to be on the same par as the Not Magic and the Moon Magic books that I read earlier this year. Same vibes. But again, I want to update my review of this. Maybe I won't hate it as badly. I really doubt it, but we're gonna find out. And of course, trendy witchcraft. What better time than when witchcraft is trending in the world? We're gonna switch gears a little bit and go to a book that I'm actually excited to learn about. And this is Norse Magic by DJ Conway. And I am really curious how this book is gonna run because... I'm interested in Norse magic. And this was published in 1990, so I wasn't even alive yet. <laughs> and if you remember from the Ossetru book, Wicca and Ossetru heathenry Norse paganism had kind of continued on the same line until somewhere in the 90s, and then they split off. So this is gonna be more of old school Norse pagan heathen Ossetru communities. So I'm curious to see how this runs in comparison where nowadays they've really veered into reconstructionism and I don't care because I don't want to go to the past 
they kind of glorify it a lot more than it needs to be because it was a really crap time to live. A lot of people died. It wasn't a great time to be a woman, you know, not, not ideal. I don't know why we need to like raise it on this platform. I'm not huge on reconstructionism, but I'm also not big on traditional Wicca. So I'm nervous about this one, but I'm also excited because it might give me some ideas. Maybe it'll have a Norse Wheel of the Year that I could at least get some ideas from that's not Reconstructionist. So we shall see. It's a tiny book anyways. It's one of the shorter ones. So we'll see how this goes. This was actually my husband's and I'm like, he didn't love it, but I'm gonna see if I like it. Another book that is my husband's, I got him this for his birthday. He picked it out and we both have kind of flipped through it and we're like, this seems interesting. So it's this one, The Path of Elemental Witchcraft, A Weird Woman's Book of Shadows, weird being the, actually the Norse spelling, um, where it's kind of, it's, it's a weird spelling. And I don't know how to say the author's name. It's like Scallop Crow. I don't know. But this is a, a decently sized book. And I was a little nervous because it isn't from a usual publishing house. I kind of flipped through. I'm hoping it's going to be good. Some of the sections I've read seem fine. So we'll see. Obviously, I have no idea. I haven't read it yet. Then we can't have the Samhain season without some ancestor stuff. So we're going to read this one. So this is Whispers of the Moon, The Life and Work of Scott Cunningham, Philosopher, Magician, Modern Day Pagan. It is written by David Harrington and Tracy. And I never know how to say their last name. Like... Regula? I don't know. I'm butchering names left and right. But this is basically a book on his life and their experiences with him. And I'm just, I've read it before. It's been a long time since I read it. We're going to reread it because I love learning about his life. Then we have a book that I haven't really read cover to cover at all. But when I needed stuff out of this book, it wasn't what I needed it to be. So I'm hoping now that I'm not in the throes of actually handling a death, it might be a little more helpful. So this is the Pagan Book of Living and Dying, Practical Rituals, Prayers, Blessings, and Meditations on Crossing Over by Starhawk. So she is the author of The Spiral Dance, which is one of the most famous witchy books out there. So this is a decent sized book, but again, when I've needed this, it really didn't have what I was looking for exactly at the time. So I don't know if it was just like grief brain kicking in and being like, I don't know, but we're gonna read through it and see and if there's sections that might be helpful to just be like if you have this book go to this section here you go kind of a deal I don't know but we're gonna read through it then I decided to knock out some of my taller books these are all like the shorter ones that fit on any of my shelves and then we have the ones that I have to lay sideways like on purpose because they don't fit and also they they just fit the theme really well for this time of the year I don't know what it is but the size of book always is like this would be perfect for October but they're always the awkwardly bigger sized books that don't fit on my shelves. So, moral of the story, Stephanie Woodfield. We have The Dark Goddess Craft, A Journey Through the Heart of Transformation. This book I'm excited to read about. I have flipped through it a teensy bit. I tried to read it before. I didn't make it far. I made it to like chapter one. That's how far I got. I got through the intro. <laughs> So like 11 pages, but I did flip through the contents. It doesn't have hell. I'm a little bummed, but whatever. So we'll read through it, see how this goes. This book I feel like is very appropriate for this time of the year. So this is one of Penzac's books. It is The Mighty Dead, Communing with the Ancestors of Witchcraft. I don't know if this is going to be just on like, ancestors is like kind of a big concept or like, your personal ancestors of like the people you knew in life and like you're related to to some degree whether through marriage or chosen family or you know bloodlines or whatever if it's that ancestry too and like ideas on like how to like go deal with like your ancestors and like visiting them at Samhain I don't know we'll find out then we have another Stephanie Woodfield book this is Celtic lore and spellcraft of the dark goddess invoking the Morrigan this is a big book it's thick, it's tall, it's a lot. But I figured, why not read through it? The Morrigan is very popular at this time of the year. Going along that same vein, we have from Penzac, Feast of the Morrigan. So also gonna read through this one. It's a lot smaller of a book, but this is a grimoire for the Dark Lady of the Emerald Isle. So even though I'm not working with her very much right now, because I am working more with the Norse gods, it's a good time to read my Morrigan books because it's the dark time of the year and I don't really think there are any on like the goddess hell. 
like there are right now for the Morrigan and there used to not be any for her so I figure let's just read through these they'll be fun and yes I did as of recording today talk about another book on this topic but we have Moon Magic again so I've had the book Moon Magic without the K this one has the K magic and also Everyday Moon Magic by uh, Dorothy Morrison. But this is another one that I thought, that is a popular topic, so let's read one of these books as well. So this is a big book. It's tall, it's kind of thick, and I've kind of flipped through it as needed. I really haven't found what I'm looking for <laughs> when I've done that, so I'm wondering if reading it cover to cover might give me more ideas. But the basic premise of this is that it goes through the moons throughout the year, and so every month it has like a different focus, different um, like sacred days and stuff. So I'm curious how this one's going to go actually reading it cover to cover. And then lastly, again, October and Halloween is typically you think of witches, of course, amongst other things. So why not to do a traditional book? We have Buckland. This is the big blue book. I don't know how popular it is anymore because now we just stick to trendy authors when you're new apparently. But this used to be like one of the three recommendeds when I first started. I know eons ago. I would hope this is still in circulation for people, at least as like a baseline of whether you hate it or you're not. Like it's it's pretty fundamental for a lot of Wicca and witchcraft. So this is Buckland's Complete Book of Witchcraft by, you guessed it, Raymond Buckland. This is, I think, the second edition? Second edition, revised and expanded. And it was done in 2002. This this particular printing is from 2017. So it's old. He's written a lot of books. But I know that I flipped through this before. It had a lot of interesting stuff. It tells you how to build an altar table. And I think it told you how to like make an athame. I don't know if I'm gonna do that. That makes me feel a little questionable of like, let's just melt some metal in the driveway. But I mean, at least it tells you what to do. <laughs> so I'm very curious how this one's gonna run. Of course, traditional witchcraft and traditional like Wicca stuff, never been my forte, but I think it would be fun to read through. So that is it for my October to be read pile. Again, I'm not reading these in the order that I showed you. These are just the order in which I grabbed them off my bookcase. So yeah. Keep an eye out over the next month. I'll be talking about these and I would love to hear your thoughts on any of these either here or on the videos that are to come. If you like what I'm doing, do make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I post every single day. Huge thank you to my patrons. I will have their names here. And if you would like to support me and get access to extended discussions, like I said, some of these are going to have extended discussions and that is always a Patreon perk. And then I also am running through Inner Temple of Witchcraft. I'm actually finishing it up this month and moving on to Outer Temple of Witchcraft, so that's exciting. And of course, I might post other things over there as well, so make sure to check out my content over there. And until next time, thank you so much for watching, and blessed be.